Hi everyone, my name is Tate Gurila and today we will learn about the interactions between living things. <laughs> interactions between living things. And this topic, we will focus more on the interactions between animals. This is a topic for science year 6. So, interactions between animals. Interactions between animals are divided into two, which is intraspecies interactions and interspecies interaction. Interactions between the same species. So, that is the meaning of intraspecies interactions. For example, like here, we have a cow. Cow interact with another cow. So, they are the same species. So, we call it as an intraspecies interactions. We have interspecies interactions where this interaction is the interactions between different species. For example, we have cow and also a goat. So, that is a different species but they live together, they are interact with each other. Interactions can take place in form of cooperations and competitions. Okay, cooperations competition. Cooperation is an interaction that benefit both parties. That means both get benefit. Meanwhile, competition is an interaction that benefit only one party. So that means one get benefit, one maybe get harm. Okay, that is competition. Same like with you and your friends, you compete to get something. So that means only one can win the competition. Okay. Next, we move to the type of animals. We have two different types of animals. The first one is the animals that live in a group. The second one is the animals that live in solitary. That means live alone. So we will, go, we will go through one by one. The example and the advantage and disadvantage for animals that live in the groups and for animals that live in solitary. So animals that live in a group is the animals that live together their entire life. For example, we have bees, we have monkeys, we have lions. You can name a lot of other animals, other animals that live in a group. Next, we move to the advantage and disadvantage for animals that live in a group. So the advantage for animals that live in a group is they can cooperate to protect themselves from enemies. And then they can find food together, they can find shelter, they can build nests, they also take care of their young together. Okay, that is the advantage for animals that live in a group. They can cooperate. Seems like you when you do a group work, a teamwork, your work will be much better, more fact. So, you cooperate to each other. So, that is the advantage. Let's move to the disadvantage. Disadvantage for animals that live in a group. They need to compete with each other when there are limited of basic needs. So, what is the basic needs? For example, like food, water, breeding meat, and living, living space. One more thing. Animals that live in a group... If there is some disease, it can spread easily among them. Because they live in a group, they are close to each other. When there is a disease, it spread easily. Okay? Next, we move to the animals that are living in solitary. Animals that live in solitary, that means they live alone. Alone. Okay, so most solitary animals are predators. They are predator. They are not producer. They are not a first consumer. So, this is some example for animals that live in a solitary. For example, like panda, tiger, and eagle. You can name other type of animals that live in a solitary. Okay, so let's move to the advantage and disadvantage for animals that live in solitary. The advantage. For animals that live in solitary, they're able to avoid competition for 
water, food, territories, breeding mates. So that means if they get all the basic needs, they don't need to share with each other. Each other. <laughs> okay, so they get it from them for themselves. Okay, for myself. Okay, besides, they're able to move silently without attracting attention of enemies or other predators. Because they work alone, they hunt alone. Okay, that is the advantage. What is the disadvantage? So, the disadvantage is they take longer time to hunt food. To hunt food. Because they hunt alone. So, they take longer time. Besides, it's hard for them to defend themselves when attacked by other predator. Because they're alone. For example, you walk alone in the dark night and then when you attack, it's hard for you to defend yourself because you are alone. So that's why move silently. <laughs> okay, that is the first one. The second one is hard for them to find breeding mates during mating season. Next, we move to the type of interactions between animals. Symbiosis. Okay, what is the meaning of symbiosis? Symbiosis is actually the interactions between animals. Uh, we are talking about animals, okay? The interactions between animals of different species that live together. So, symbiosis can be divided into three, which is the first one is mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. Okay, so this is the definition, interactions between two animals of different species that live together. So, we will go through one by one the type of interactions. The first one is, we have mutualism. So, mutualism is an interaction between two animals of different species that benefit both animals. In this case, both animals get benefit. For example, like this one, we have buffaloes and birds. Okay, birds eating ticks on the buffalo skin. Okay, the buffalo get benefit. Okay, and the birds also get benefit. How? The birds get food while the buffalo get to reduce the number of ticks on its skin. The second one, we have a bird. Also a bird. This bird eating the meat from the food that's stuck on the mouth of the crocodile. So, in this case, that bird get food. And the crocodile get a clean teeth. Ah, it's like the bird is the dentist for this crocodile. Without the bird, the crocodile will get to reach. We also have another example like the sea anemone. The sea anemones get free transport and leftover food from the hermit crab. While the hermit crab protects itself from enemies. How? The sea anemones have a poisonous tentacles so these poisonous tentacles protect the hermit crab next we move to the commensalism commensalism is an interaction that gives benefits to one species but to other species is neither benefit nor harm so this means the first one get benefit the other one don't get anything ha okay one animal, we call it as the common soul, the one that can benefit. Okay, that is common soul. And the other animals, the one that not affected, we call it as a host. So, for example, we have a Remora fish. Remora fish is the common soul, which this fish attach itself to the body of shark. The shark is the host. How and why? How? I don't know. <laughs> but why? I know. Okay, this fish can obtain food from the shark. At the same time, it gets protections and free transport. So, this fish take benefit from the shark. But for the shark itself, it, nothing happened to the shark. Nothing happened. Not even bothered. Okay, we have another example which is the barnacles. Barnacles is the common song. It attach itself to the skin of the whale, where the whale is the host. Why? 
they want to obtain food. Okay, obtain food and then get the free ride from the whales. Right? What happened to the whales? No, nothing happened to the whales. Okay, next we move to the last one. Okay, this one is a parasitism. Parasitism is an interaction that benefit one animal. On the other hand, it's harm the other animals. For example, uh, the one that get benefit, we call it as a parasite. And the other animals that get harmed, we call it as a host. The most common one is we have a flea and lice. Okay, both flea and lice, that is the parasite. This parasite live on the mammal skin. So, mammal skin, the mammals is the host. To obtain food by sucking the host blood. Huh. They are eating blood. Okay. And the other example, we have a tapeworm. So this is the parasite. So the tapeworm obtain food by living in the intestine of human. And or <laughs> human or animals body. Or in the, uh, not in the body. In the body. But in the intestine. Uh, so human and animal is the host. So they are eating, eating, obtain food in our body. Ah, so that is the problem. Parasite is some things that not good. They get benefit, but what happened to us? What happened to the host? It's harm the host. Okay, so kids out there, avoid parasite, especially parasite friends. <laughs> okay, I think that's it for this lesson. You can scan this QR code to get uh, more notes and exercise. Okay, I think that's it. <laughs> so, see you in the next video. Bye!